you tell me um, what it is you feel is helpful about this doorway for those coming to it? It's wide open. What do you feel is helpful for them? Yeah, well, this doorway, it seems to be hidden uh, to the everyday perceptions of the world, the linear perceptions, so it's it's almost like a like an esoteric doorway into mysticism and it can be quite disturbing to the ego so uh, I would say don't be alarmed as you come close to this doorway because the ego may have some reactions but it's a very gracious doorway it's, it's God's love and grace coming into awareness and there still seems to be steps to take. The mind is very addicted to linear time and so it has to come in a form of steps. But each step leads happily on to the next step and the next and with each step inward that you take through this doorway or through this portal or gateway, every step gets lighter and lighter and you become less aware of the elements of time and space. So in order to come into experience of God's grace you have to meet the, ex the conditions of grace. You can't bring judgments through the portal. You can't bring these attachments of the past into the portal. You, you have to leave them at the door. And so in that sense it's a very light journey as you enter into the portal. You get lighter and lighter because you're not carrying the weight of past thoughts and beliefs and perceptions.